Tech, Tech, Tech Time with Mr. Corbett. Welcome Farnsworth. Now we're going to show you how to use some Tinkercad. But before we begin, there's some basic layout things that we need to do first. You're going to be following this tutorial that I'm showing on the screen. I'll move it down here in the corner. And you're going to need to watch a video, which I have a video playing on my screen. And you're going to have to be able to use Tinkercad at the same time. Now there's five ways you can do this. First way, you can press Control 1 or Control 2. And if you notice, that switches between the tabs. Control 1 does the first tab, Control 2 does the other. So you can then pause your video, Control 1, do some Tinkercad, Control 2, go back to watching the video. All right. You can do a split screen. Watch this. I'm going to take this tab. I'm just going to drag it to the side of my screen over here. And I'm going to click on the other one. This works on a Chromebook also. Okay. So now, oh, put that one in the corner. Now I can have the video playing on one side. And I can have Tinkercad working on the other side. All right. If neither one of those work because your screen's too small, you don't like it, that is perfectly fine. Let me just put this video back here. Okay. You can use two devices as shown here. All right. So you can have the video playing on one device. So right here I have it playing on a Chromebook. And while the video is playing, I'm able to use my laptop to do Tinkercad. And that's going to allow me to then hit pause over here. I can do some Tinkercadding and then I can hit play. All right. Watch some more video. And then I can hit pause again and go back to here. Mr. Corbett, I don't have two devices. Well, think, use your mind. Do your parents have a laptop you can borrow? Maybe you can borrow your brother or your sister's Chromebook for a little bit when they're not using it. So you can have two Chromebooks. All right? Or maybe you don't have an extra Chromebook. That's fine as well. What you can do is you can use your phone. All right? If you have a phone, you can just set that right here next to the screen. And you can leave the phone playing while you're doing your Tinkercad. And then you can come down here and just hit pause, do whatever you got to do. And then you can hit play again. That's another thing you can do. All right. Let's say you don't have a phone and you might not. That's fine. Another thing you can do is a lot of you have YouTube on your television. So you can queue up the video on your smart TV and you can watch the video on your television as you're working. All right. Now, if you take a notice, look at my work area. It's pretty clean. All right. I got room to move my mouse. I got room to work. It's nice and flat. You need to find something like that. Working on your bed. It's going to be a little bit tricky with Tinkercad. And speaking of mice, if you want a mouse, the mouse will speed up Tinkercad tremendously. It'll make it go a lot faster. You can borrow a mouse from school. If you go to school between Monday from 9 to 11 or Thursday from 12 to 2, you can sign a mouse out and borrow it. It's going to make working in Tinkercad a lot faster. Now, can you still use the trackpad? You sure can. It works. It's just a little bit slower. So now that you get your work area set up, either you're doing a dual screen on the same one, you're doing dual machines, you're doing it on your television, or you're just pressing control one and control two, that's fine. Let's get started in Tinkercad. Okay, you're going to click on the Tinkercad link. It's going to bring you to this page. At any point during this video, feel free to hit pause to do the work and then resume the video. And that's why I had you make the either split screen or have a separate screen off to the side. So let's get started by clicking on sign in right here. And you're going to use sign in with Google. If you're on a Chromebook, it might take a minute to load and that's fine. Once yours loads, we're going to click on create new design. Feel free to pause this video while yours loads. All right. Once your video is loaded, let's go over some of the basics. Over on the side here, we have shapes. Okay. Uh, the first two are actually not shapes. They're holes. We'll get to that later. But if you scroll down, you have a ton of shapes. Then on the left side, we have our orientation. So here's what works best. Watch me do something. I'll pause it and then you do it. Okay. That way you watch it, do it, and we learn together. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take a red box. I'm going to drag it onto the screen. Once I've done that, I'm going to pull on these white dots and see how it changes the size. So this one will make it wider and smaller and this one will make it taller and shorter. Let's pause the video. You give it a try. Pull out a red box. Excellent. Let's move on. 
Now that you've learned how to manipulate the box, let's try manipulating it with some real numbers. So if you notice, when I pull on the corners, those numbers are changing. That allows you to be very precise, and this is all in millimeters. So I'm gonna click on the numbers, so you can click on them, and we're gonna type in a number. Let's do 40, enter. Click on this one, let's do 40, enter. And let's go to the height, click on the height, click on the white box here, and then you can type in 20, enter. So let's make a box that's 40 by 40 by 20 millimeters. Pause the video, you do it. Fantastic, welcome back, good job so far. Over here on the side, this is our orientation information. So I'm gonna click on this cube and just pull on it. And you can do this with the trackpad also. Click on the cube and drag it around. You can also click on the word left, bottom, and you can see different viewpoints. If you get all messed up and you're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Just come down here and click on the house. Always brings you back to this view. This one will fit the view. It'll zoom it in so you have a nice close up. And then of course, plus and minus will zoom you in or zoom you out. Okay, and if you ever mess anything up, hit the house. You give it a shot. Try using the orientation things on the left side. Fantastic. If you're not with me so far, just hit rewind, try it again. I'm gonna click on the word top, and I'm gonna drag my cube up here and put it in the middle near the top. Do it. Nice. If you messed anything up, just rewind the video, try it again. All right, now we're gonna put a nose on this guy. So I'm gonna pull out a sphere. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna pull out a sphere. I'm gonna hit the house so I can see what the sphere looks like and I'm gonna hit fit. So house and fit. Now if I pull on these corners, I can change the size of my sphere. Notice that it gets all wonky looking, okay? Magic button right here, undo. Boom, check that out, very important, or control Z. Undo or control Z. I can also pull on this white one and I can make it taller. Let's zoom out a bit, all right? And I can make it shorter. Now, if you don't want it to get skewed, I'm gonna hold the shift key, hold shift, and now when I push on or click on these corners, see how it scales it uniformly? So holding shift allows you to scale it uniformly. We're gonna use this to be a nose. All right, so why don't you pull out a sphere, practice scaling it, and why don't you turn it into what you think looks kind of like a nose. Mine's a little tall, so I'm gonna bring it down. So you do you, pause it, make it look like a nose. Excellent. Now I'm gonna drag this right inside of here and I'm gonna put it in the middle. How do I know if it's in the middle? Click on top, fit view, and I'll zoom out a little bit. And now I can move this around and get it right in the center. And then I'll hit the house and zoom in. You do it. Nice work, okay? Now we have these two shapes, but they're different. You can click on the nose, you can click on the head. This is gonna be our head. We're gonna combine them. I'm gonna click up here, I'm gonna drag. See, I'm making a box. Click and drag to make a box. It selects everything. Again, I'm gonna click and drag to select everything. And then this button right here, it says group. I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna group those two together. See how the colors change? It's all the same, okay? You do it. Select it all, group it. Excellent. I'm gonna zoom in on this guy a little bit. Click on it, I can even fit it, there we go. Now we're gonna add a hole to be the eye. So I'm gonna pull out a cylinder. See this gray cylinder? This is a hole. So I'm gonna actually pull that out and then I'm gonna hold shift and click on the corner and that's gonna scale it smaller. But the problem is if I put that in here, See how it's smaller than my face? So I need to make it taller. Now if you remember, this red cube is 20 millimeters tall. So I'll start pulling this up. 
It needs to be bigger than 20. It doesn't matter. Mine's 37. That's fine. And I'm going to put that right where an eyeball would go. You do it. Excellent. You should now have an eyeball. Watch this. Click on the word top. I'm going to click on my eyeball. This tool right here is called duplicate. I'm going to click on it. Nothing happened. That's okay. It's actually there. If I drag this, click and drag it. Look at that. I have two eyeballs. And if I move it up and down, see that number eight, nine, 10, 11, that tells you how far off it is. Let's keep it at zero. That means the eyeballs are lined up. So I now have two eyeballs. I'm going to click on the house. I'm going to zoom. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to fit it. Do it. Click on it, duplicate it, put it over there. Excellent. If you got lost anywhere, rewind the video or press undo and try again. We're going to select all of it and we're going to group this and watch what happens. It makes two holes. You do it. Nice. All right. Now we need to add a mouth. Now I couldn't find something that worked well for a mouse. Maybe a mouth, maybe a roof would have worked or a wedge or a half roof. So we're going to make our own mouth. Okay. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out a scribble. Don't do it yet. And then it brings me to a, what? This is a drawing pad. You're going to draw a mouse. I'm going to take this. I'm going to come around like this. I'm going to make it a little thicker. Don't go like that. That leaves white. We can't have any white. So we got to color in on the white. Okay. And we're going to make a mouth and you can let go and you can click again to color it over just like that. So make what you think looks like a good mouth by just clicking and turning it into a mouth. When you're done, hit done. You try it. All right. Now we're going to need to put our scribble in here to be a mouth. Uh Oh, it's too short again. So let's click on this white box. We're going to make it taller. doesn't matter how tall. We're going to put that right in here. Uh Oh, it's too big. I'm going to click on top. Mine's too big. So let's make it smaller. There we go. Now we need it to be a hole. It's not a hole. It's a solid. And how do we know if we click on scribble, it says solid. But if we click on hole right here, it's going to turn your mouth into a hole. And what do we do? Select everything, group it, and it's going to give you a nice mouth. Look at that. You do it. Fantastic. Now you have yourself a face. Okay. A three dimensional face that you made at Tinkercad up here on the left. It's going to have some weird name. It always gives it a weird name. So let's just call that smile. Um, let's call that your name. Smile, call it your name. Smile. All right. And that's going to save automatically. Okay. At this point, let's add a few more details. Like let's say you want to add an ear. Watch this. We're going to pull out a cylinder. Okay. I'm going to hit the house so I can see what I'm doing. I'll zoom in a little bit. Actually, I'll hit that one. All right. That doesn't look like an ear. So let's drag it down and make it smaller. It kind of looks like it could be an ear. It's a little tall, so we'll make it shorter. Okay. All right. So now I got my ear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ear. I'm going to duplicate it and I can just whoops. I can just drag that ear to the other side. Look at that. I have two ears. I'll click on the top and then I can put my ear. So it's touching. Make sure that is touching. Put this here. Make sure that that's touching over there. How do I know? I can drag my little box. Nope. So that ear is touching. That ear is touching. Select everything. Group it. You try it. All right. Let's add some more details like hair. Come on down here. Find something you think would be cool. How about we do some spiky cone hair or we can do pyramid hair. I don't care. I'm going to show you how to rotate, drag that out. And here's how we're going to rotate. We're going to click on the house. 
We're gonna fit to view. See these arrows? These arrows are gonna allow you to turn this and you can type in a number. See right there, you can type in a number. All right, I'm gonna undo that. But we wanna rotate it, let's see. See there's one right here, we're gonna click on that guy and we wanna rotate it nine, negative 90 maybe? Yes. All right, this can be the hair. I'll click on top and I'll put my hair right on the top of my head. Look at that. And I'll duplicate it and I'll move it over. Duplicate it, move it over. Maybe I'll even scale it down a little bit. Shift, click. Now I got some crazy hair and let's group everything together. Okay, so now you learn how to use the rotate command. So do that, add yourself some kind of crazy hair. It doesn't have to be a pyramid. You could use a cone, a roof, or the round roof, doesn't matter. So once you're happy with your setup, make sure you can see everything. Just do like a fit, you might have to click on the word top. Take a screenshot and post that in the documentation. Okay, hope you had fun doing this activity. Hope you really enjoyed it. We're gonna do some more Tinkercad. And remember, Mr. Corbett says your only limit is you.